we've talked a few times over those 10 years, and I remember the stories about the U-Haul. Now that we are here, does it surprise you how far the company's come and how much it has evolved? And, and I mean, what do you sort of see as the biggest accomplishment? Oh, you know, there's... They, I'll tell you what I didn't expect. Um, I didn't expect us to change the culture, mm. to be a leading influencer on sustainability, to be a thought leader and a driver of the circular economy. So when you think about you know creating a business and then having this other compounding impact, it's that actually is something I didn't plan on, and is something I you know the whole company is proud of. As you know, I've shopped on The Real Real, and I love that the things there were loved by someone else or that they maybe are one of a kind. I could never get them again. But there's also this rise of fast fashion happening at the same time that the circular economy is becoming more compelling. How do you see that balance shaking out in e-commerce? Well, our data shows that our customers that start really buying resale move out of fast fashion. So they're actually maybe not moving completely out, but they're spending less money in fast fashion, more money on resale, and primarily because they're becoming more and more aware of the environmental impact of the landfills filling up with, you know, I think it's one truckload every second of fashion going into a landfill. So. You now have 16 retail locations. You have women, men's, kids, home decor, fine art. You've paid out more than $2 billion in commissions. Where do you see the biggest area for growth over the next 10 years? Oh, we have such a long way to go. You know, as of even last month, half of our new consigners, I think not quite, a little less than half, 45% of our new consigners, again, never have consigned before. So when you just look at where we are in the U.S., getting people to think about consigning, we're at the beginning. And getting people to really realize the positive environmental impact of the circular economy, just beginning. And we're only in the U.S. So certainly we have the ability to expand worldwide. But right now we have a long way to go here. Now, I'm so glad you're here in person because you were literally one of the last in-person interviews I did before the pandemic. It was the opening of the store the real world store in San Francisco, and I think days later, the world was on lockdown. And the pandemic was a challenging time for, for retail in general. How did you weather that? And, and are you over those challenges today? I know that one of the biggest issues was supply and just right. the demand was there, people wanted to buy, but getting them the stuff they wanted was hard. Right. I mean, you know, we're not primarily retail, but you're right. I mean, three days later after we opened the store, we had to shut it down. And it really, we are a supply constrained business. And when you think of New York, uh, the state of New York, but the city of Manhattan and the state of California were really shut down, California very quickly. We couldn't pick up product. Mm -hmm. So last year at this time, um, and really it, Q2, we went from, in Q1, we were heading 40% above year ago. We went down 45%. So we had an 85 point swing in our business. That was then. I'm happy to say that starting in Q1, our business started accelerating. And at Q2, we published the numbers through May. And, you know, we're up about 55% versus year ago. So we feel good. I actually was 106%. I'm giving you the two-year total. <laughs> so 106% versus year ago. So everything is on the rise and it feels, you know, knock on wood, things are getting back to normal. You were my last in-person <laughs> interview and you're my first in-person interview. Well, thank you. I love the symbolism there. Um, you're about to open your newest store Friday in Atlanta. What are the next 10 years? look like? What are the goals? Uh, well, I mean, you know, my we just had a big company meeting before this, and I said my short-term goal is $5 billion <laughs> and in five years, which may be not aggressive enough, but we really are want to keep planning the sustainability flag, changing people's both shopping and consigning habits, and be a worldwide company. So we have a long way to go. Ten years went by so quickly. In fact, it's almost a blink of an eye, unless you look at the pictures 10 years ago, and I'm like, oh yeah, that was 10 years ago. And how, at that point, do you see the balance between physical retail and e-commerce, given that so much more of our shopping and, and, and behavior has moved online, and yet there is still 
some desire to touch and feel things in person. So our stores have done phenomenally well, both in generating demand, but more importantly, supply. So if you think of our big challenge is to get more supply, remove friction. Some people are just much more comfortable dropping off at a store. Mm -hmm. So our plan is to get you know 13 stores open this year. We're on track to that. 12 is Atlanta, one more in the Bay Area. And then we'll take, we'll assess, what does that mean for supply and demand? Um, the stores open during COVID got to break even very quickly on its strictest measurement, meaning on an incremental basis. But we, you know, we're coming out of COVID. So we've always been primarily, and when I say primarily, 95% an online business. So we'll see how it shakes out. We're yep. going to take it, just read the data and follow the signs. And are we going to see more partnerships like Gucci? Is that a big part of the strategy? I'm sure you will. Um, one of the fun things we did during COVID, and you may have missed it, we worked with very important companies like Balenciaga and Jacques Mousse mm -hmm. um, to upcycle. So we took their damaged goods that they couldn't resell, worked with another designer to reimagine those goods and that actually has phenomenal potential. It sold through incredibly quickly. Right. So in that, I think we had almost 16 different designers we work with. Wow. So there's multiple ways we can work with them to reduce okay. waste.